Hi, I am Tina Bruno, the mother of Destiny and Deasia Bruno. Let me first say thank you to the community, including grassroots activists, for coming together in support of this family. My daughters, Destiny and Deasia Bruno in particular, your support is forever appreciated. We know that Destiny and Deasia did nothing wrong, but exercised their constitutional right under the First Amendment to protest in support of teachers and against school clothing that might wreak havoc on the black community and otherwise. Two weeks ago, my daughter Destiny was indicted by a Cuyahoga County grand jury. And last Wednesday, all charges were dismissed. Her request of County Prosecutor Bill Mason. The charges were resisting arrest and an assault on two white male Fifth District Cleveland police officers that I believe attacked my daughter in retaliation for organized student protest on May 13th, planned by a white male student whom we support but was not arrested by the white male police officer. Cleveland Community Relations Director Blaine Griffin contacted Kathy Ray Coleman, local journalist and leader of Imperial Women, this morning and told her there would be no investigation or prosecution by the city of Cleveland against that We also know that criminal investigations are not public records, even if it's by Cleveland city officials, unless charges are brought or filed. Okay? Because this case is not just about my daughter, it's about all children in this community that can become victims regardless of race and gender for doing what the United States Constitution permits them to do in speaking out on issues of public concern. We pray that no further charges will be brought against my daughter, a young black girl who will graduate this summer and fulfill her dream of becoming a nurse. As a mother, I beg the powers that be to leave my children alone and not use them as pawns regarding a fight between school district officials the Cleveland Teachers Union and others that are part of the school transformation plan. Thank you. First, I want to compliment the mother and the Bruno, Bruno family for having the courage to stand before you and fight for an issue that pertains to the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. We will not have black children disenfranchised simply because they exercise their right on the United States Constitution. Currently, there are no charges to be brought against Jesse because Bill Mason dismissed them all. And we call on the city of Cleveland to leave this black family alone and to leave our children alone. We will be out here. And we want to make it clear to Cleveland Law Director Robert Triazzi that there will be no charges against Destiny Bruno without an outcry from the black community and others, including the people behind me. We imperial women, black on black crime, stop targeting our house poor, the oppressed people's nation, and we do not intend to allow the public officials of Cleveland to use black children as a sign to fight the Cleveland teachers. No justice! No peace! I'm McCoy of Black on Black Friends. That's what we're here for! That's the NDA! That's what we're here for! That's the NDA! That's what we're here for! That's the NDA! Only when the authorities overstep their bounds 
and start arresting and start slamming people on the ground that things get out of hand. And that's what happened in this particular case. You want our charges what? Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. I have been in hundreds of protests throughout my career. And I'll tell you something right now. In most of those protests, if the authorities, which most authorities have learned, would leave the demonstrators alone, they'll do what they gotta do, they'll do it peacefully, and at the end of the day, they'll leave and go home. Now we want those that were involved to just admit that things got a little out of hand when they should have let them went on and had their protest. Therefore, because of this, let's all look at what happened and realize one thing, that out of the end of this, these daughters don't need to be charged with a felony. That's what we're here for! That's the NDA! 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 That's what we're here for! We want to make sure that there is no misinterpretation. And do not say that there is a criminal charge pending against a young black girl when it's not. That's called defamation of character. So make sure you get that straight. There are no charges pending against Stephanie Bronoff. We dare the Cleveland city of Cleveland to bring any charges because if they do, we will call for the resignation of all involved parties. So on the day this walkout was to occur, my friend, Adam, we saw a police car pull up and we videoed what occurred and immediately, immediately when I saw that video and, and, and saw it happen there, I knew something wrong had gone on and I knew something unjust had been done and I called WTM and I called the media and I wanted to do my best to make it clear and to let it get out there and to not let this injustice, what was done to these young women, pass. I can't watch that video anymore because it makes me feel nauseous. It's disgusting what happened and we need to stand again. That's what we're here for! That's the NDA! 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 That's the N